Happy New Year's Eve, everyone. We are here on Sanibel Island. As you can see, the beach, oh, that bird's eating. He found a fish. The beach is completely covered with seaweed and dead fish. Sanibel is currently experiencing a red tide. So if you hear me coughing, it's just the effects of the red tide. They do affect my allergies. Robert is pointing at something. Oh, sea urchin. Let's see. This this guy's dead. Yep, this guy is definitely dead. It's affecting Robert's allergies too, and he normally don't have a problem with his allergies. This guy's dead. You can tell if they're dead. This is their mouth area. Poke their mouth area. Their spines would quit would start moving. Plus, I can just tell because they're all dried out. Oh, look at that, Robert. This must be where we were getting them earlier. So, that crab? Yeah. No, no, I don't want, I don't want the dead crab. Anyway, this is the first trip that I've ever seen this many sea urchins wiped up. Wiped up? Sorry. Washed up on the beach. But unfortunately, there's also a bunch of dead fish. I'm not really like focusing on that too much, but there's one right there. There's one right there. What is that? Some kind of, ooh, some kind of spongy seaweed. We'll see if that dries. Ocean. Ocean flotsam and jetsam. That's what I call it. So it is New Year's Eve and Sanibel is super busy. Everyone came to Sanibel. There's a piece of the couple crab pots brushed up earlier. That's what that's a piece of the crab pot. Yeah. Yes, I have. Someone already came by and picked up the crab pots. I contemplated it if I thought it would fit in my luggage. It would not. Just a rock. So yeah, the surf is pretty rough. That's the only thing I can think of because I keep finding sea glass. Usually sea glass is not common here. So, or maybe it's the red tide, I don't know. It's a peculiar trip. We're seeing stuff we've never seen before. Oh. All kinds of, oh, this one's heavy. It's like a sea pine cone. Let's see, let's see if these dry, I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes seaweed like that will dry out and be fine. And then sometimes it dries out and stinks like I have it. You never know until you try to dry it out. There's another one right there. You never know until you try to dry it out. So we'll just put it on our hotel room deck. And if it's not too stinky, I'll try to take it home where I will then soak it in a rubbing alcohol solution for a couple days. And then if that gets the stink out, I'll display it in my bathroom. Another dead fish. So, I mean, there are, I know you're like, Jenny, you're passing all these shells up. Yes, I am. Um, I'm not really seeing anything besides a whole bunch of clam and mussel shells. If I see anything good, I will definitely show you. I'm also trying not to walk too slow because I don't want to, like, stay in one spot and just breathe in all this dead fishiness. So, I'm sorry. That's why we're on the move. How he was orange. What is that? You can even see how he was orange. 
because the wind. And then so brown cool. probably because of mud and stuff. Oh, Let me get a picture of that. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Alright, I'm not keeping it, Robert. I just was showing it to you. <laughs> That's enough for now. I'll turn the camera back on if I find anything interesting. But this is what the beach looks like during red tide. Hope you're all having a happy new year and we will see you later.